Well, it's been a few days uh, since I uh, shot any uh, video. The uh, last few days it snowed up here and uh, I've been uh, down uh, working a job uh, to get some finances in to pay the bills and keep this stuff going. And uh, I've uh, had a few people ask me about uh, the uh, some of the resources I have around here. And one of the resources that I'm going to talk about now is uh, uh, some thermal. Uh, this up here on this mountain, there's not necessarily anything uh, deep in the ground to uh, heat any water or steam or anything. But uh, uh, in my area right here, due to water action and a lot of stones, uh, the mountain's uh, surfaces are covered by a bunch of rocks which are like glued together with lots of air spaces. So air can get in in different locations and then uh, come out at other locations and the air that usually comes out is about 58 degrees year round. Um, I can, an one little example, I'll take you to two examples. Uh, the first example is uh, right here. This I uncovered when I was uh, working on the road. And it's uh, sort of hard to see with all the uh, snow here, but get in here. It's very interesting if you feel the air, it's like nice and warm. If you just go down and squat down in this little hole down here, it can be a blizzard out here and it's nice and toasty. You can see the, uh, the moss and the grass that grows year round. So if you can tie into little places like this to uh, bring your air into your buildings, you can get nice, uh, uh, basically uh, regulated air. You could heat it if you think it's not warm enough or cool it if you don't think it's cool enough but it's actually very very purified air it goes through i don't know how long how far but the air that comes out is just crystal clear and clean even if there's pollution outside any of the air that comes out of these are is uh, is uh, uh the best that you can breathe so and after showing this we'll back out and I'll head back on and we'll head over to the primary location that I'm going to be using. Ducking up through to get through the gate, uh, the uh, lens just barely tapped the uh, the top of the gate and uh, broke off uh, the protection of the lens. Uh, hopefully, it's still operating now, but it looks like uh, it's working. It doesn't completely close now, but that's okay. We'll uh, just keep going.
ways to go through this snow. <sighs> and uh, the best time of the year, if you're looking for uh, locations where there might be a cave or an old mine, winter time is a good time to look uh, for it because uh, it is the time when uh, uh, the heat from the caves or the mines or whatever will melt the snow. So look for places where the snow is melted away. And if you are uh, got the money, get a thermal imager. That really helps out a lot. But we gotta go down off this rock. Whoa, that was slippery. So, whew. and let's see where we're heading. Ah, here we go. It's uh, one of the uh, openings and where everything here is like slick. Well, it's hard to see from the outside since it uh, hasn't melted too much uh, around the entrance. But uh, I can see dripping water inside and we got some icicles here. It's not very big. It's a little alcove. We can come back in. And you can see it's just formed by millions and millions of these little rocks with gaps in between them. This whole uh, hillside's like that. A lot of, it's amazing. That is just beautiful. In the middle of the winter and we got all this uh, moss growing in here. So turning around, that would be looking out. It's nice and toasty warm in here. Got a nice beautiful view. If you had to survive in the winter, little areas like this are like little miracles. Well, there's uh, several other locations that I can uh, find around here. Even on some of the other uh, ridges around here, there's actually some large uh, caves that you can actually go in. There's actually some larger ones around here, but uh, they're much more difficult to get to. And so, looking like way up, man, I like I'm looking almost. Uh, 80 degrees up there. Pretty rough terrain in this area. Well, if you're uh, looking at uh, purchasing land or trying to enhance what you already have, always keep your eyes open. You never know what you can find. Well, to everyone, you have an awesome uh, first of the year. It's going to be a new year. Uh, and always look forward to the bright side of it. God bless. And this is slick.